There was once a king who had many advisors, many servants, but there was this one guy that was always giving him timely advice. He was always serving him faithfully. He was basically his right-hand man. One day, after decades of service, he was caught conspiring with the enemies. The king finds out about this, and of course, the death penalty. But comes along the king and he says, one second, this guy has been so close to me for all these years. I needed him two in the morning, he was there. I needed him to risk his life, he risked. He made a major blunder. He deserves death, but I can't, we're too close. Instead of giving him a death sentence, I want to put him in prison. And hopefully this guy regrets, repents. I let him out after a while. They give him a small prison cell with a four inch mattress, can't go outside, no activities, suffering. And he was there every single day crying and pleading with the guards. I regret it, I didn't mean it. Please give me another chance. Tell the king in my name I love him. Finally, the king sends his messengers to go talk to this prisoner. He stands up excited and he tells him, is it time, is it time? And they say, no, 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 sir. But the king agreed to give you better conditions. We're getting you a nice bed, sports activities. We'll give you what you want, what you need. The guy's ecstatic. Every day is getting better conditions. But guess what happens? He stopped asking the prison guard, please tell the king to let me leave. A week, a month, a year, not a word. So what did the king have to do? Mo'ayva Abu Tai? He's getting too comfortable. Let me take him back to the original situation. Just think about it for a second. Go back to Europe in the 1940s. You go further back in time to what happened in Spain and what happened in different parts of the Middle East. We see so many times the Jews were prospering and the Jews were suffering. And when we were suffering, we were begging Hashem for the Geulah. We need Mashiach now. But then when things got better and we got acclimated to society and we had jobs and we had homes, next thing you know, we're happy. Baruch Hashem. We're good. It's a cycle that seems to repeat itself over and over again. We're living in beautiful times. Let's not be like that person that's complacent. Who's, who has his priorities wrong. We have homes and cars and clothes, whatever you could ask for. But it's not about enjoying yourself in prison. It's about always not losing sight of the goal, getting out of the prison, getting out of this long and gruesome exile. We should enjoy what we have. We should be grateful for what we have, but don't lose sight of the goal.